Hello folks, welcome along to the vlog. We've nipped in again today. So we'll have a quick look on the street how busy it is. Today is Saturday. We've nipped in, as I was saying, to do today's orders. We're approaching three o'clock. Gemma, you struggle with this often, don't you? All the way. There we are. I should get a motorised uh, shutter lifter of some type up there. Anyway, we've come in today to get the orders for delivery because we're not allowed to do click and collect anymore. So you come in past. Oh, I'm sure I heard police or something then. Well, maybe not. Yeah, anyway, we're not allowed to do click and collect. Excuse the wind, that's awful. Let's just get inside because the wind's just picked up then. So, yeah, we're not allowed to do click and collect. This means that if anyone locally wants any beer, we have to do the deliveries. So we decided, seeing as we've not got much else on, to do them on a daily basis. I see water. Where's this from? Oh, that looks predictably like a leak of some type. And if you look up there, there's some staining on the uh, beam. That's definitely leaking there then. Fortunately, it's not hitting anything essential. So yeah, as soon as we've not got much else on, we're coming in every day, doing the deliveries. Normally a couple of three cases, just dropping them off locally and then anything that's going to go nationwide. We've been kind of sending them out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But we've still got plenty of beer left. We've run out of proof of concept. I've just saved a little bit for the 12 beers of Christmas. Which I'm going to change to a mixed case of 12 at some point it's not Christmas anymore uh, so there's just enough here to do a few more packs of 12 then we've got lots of this Bjorn again locked down at Bernie's that's almost a full palette of vacant we did extra vacant uh, plum porter we still have and then looking over at this side we do have dwindling stocks of stout the coconut shy is running well it's not too bad actually Probably 30 or 40 cases there. Best bitter. Porter. Normal porter. We've got plenty of that by the looks of things. We've been selling quite a few full cases of porter and stout actually. Then in here, one of the, it's a real good seller actually. The 2020 Vision. But I'm not surprised it was an extremely expensive beer to make. Through here, this is where we're keeping the pail. There's a little bit of keg beer, look, that we've still got in stock. Hopefully that'll be good to drink when we open back up again, maybe in March. And then down here, we've got the Kolsch. We've got about a pallet of Kolsch. Got quite a lot of this, actually. In fact, we had that much of it. We didn't have enough labels, so there's some unlabeled cans as well. So, yeah, that's what we're up to when uh, when we come into work. I had a good tidy up in here the other day after we built the chicken pen and I do need to now put some, I'm going to put some visqueen down or some damp proof membrane of some type at the bottom of the chicken pen so I'm just going to grab this knife and we're going to go and find some, I've got a roll of it somewhere and we'll cut it and take a couple of square metres home and uh, well that's probably all we're going to get today in terms of a vlog so I thought I'd just pull the camera out, keep you all updated as to what exactly we are doing. Do you know where this visqueen is, Gem? No, it's like a big roll of plastic. Black plastic, yeah. It probably is upstairs, yeah. I used to keep it stored in that corner. Right. I don't think I've caught on camera the... Uh, the back room in the office very often 
I know it's the right dump. Here's a hidden secret. So we come through our little office, say hello to the little office, freezing cold office, and through this door here we have another room. Let's put a light on. I've got a light plugged into this socket here. Yeah. So this is above the workshop downstairs. It's the same size as the workshop, believe it or not. But it's just used as a humongous dumping ground. And the roof's caving in. Look at that. You can see there's a load of crap falling down from the roof. It is a mess. Can't really be used for much else. I could turn it into another office room. I could just put a ceiling up and sort it out but I think it would take quite a job. So basically when we've got a project on the go, any ancillary parts, leftover bits, don't want them in the brewery, so they just tend to come up here and get dumped. I'll give you an idea. Old control panel from the cask wash, dumped, thought I might need one of the switches or something at some point, I don't know. Uh, old control panel for the plastic fermenters that we never actually used in the end. Maybe two or three times. Uh, spare impellers for the Clark pumps. Spare uh, steel decorations for from the um, the gate project and what have you. Washing machine pump, computer fan, load of guttering components. You know, even a kettle lock. In fact, we've got everything up here, including the kitchen sink. Can you believe that? I think there's actually two sinks up here. Oh, and there's even a conservatory. Yeah, thanks to a couple of friends we've got over in uh, Gainsborough. They were taking one down. That's actually like a four metre square conservatory. Just waiting to be used at some point. The umbrellas for the beer garden need fixing. All these chairs that are in various stages of disrepair. Uh, underback from the Idle Valley kit. Or Grant uh, HLT boil kettle from the old home brewery could have used these the other day a couple of sleighs for the kids sledges uh, PVC trunk all sorts my old bike there look but yeah there's just all sorts up here so what did I come up for oh yes it was the visqueen so I could also use uh, this stuff, that would probably be better, but I'd have to find a way of joining it. I did want to put lino down originally. I wonder if there's enough there. Ah, that's black lino though, so we've got that at the back of the bar. Maybe I'll be better off keeping that for the back of the bar. I don't know. Do you think I could join it with a bit of plumber's mate? I think I probably could, you know. I think there's enough there. Uh, I think we're going to take that and have a pump with that. If it doesn't work, I can come back and I can use the visqueen, wherever it is. Drain rods over there, look, tea chests. Is there any visqueen up here? It definitely is up here somewhere. Could even use these old vinyl banners if I needed to. Look, so they're 2019. So what was we? Nottinghamshire County Pub of the Year 2019. 2020 didn't really get going, did it, boys and girls? So, yeah, it wouldn't be fair to be judging anybody for those couple of years. Yeah, well, that fisk... Oh! Stood right next to it, look. There it is. This will probably be perfect for the job. I should really... Should take a cut of that off, shouldn't I? And take some with me. What do you think, just in case... That won't need cutting, you see. I could do that and I could line... could make like a, a lined uh, and sealed container for all of the uh, deep litter system and the timber underneath would never get wet. I think I'm going to cut some of this off. Right, there we have it. 
This is a big roll. I've cut a piece off about 1400 wide. Let's go back downstairs and uh, get the orders on the van. This takes everything. It takes like five times longer when you've got a camera in your hand, you know. I noticed that. That's probably why, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen quite a few, well, quite a reduction in the amount of videos I've made over the past month or two. Just because some things I've wanted to just get completed without fannying around getting a camera out. But, well, I've got a little bit more time on my hands now. Certainly this week or two. Oh, you bugger. <laughs> Where was you hiding behind there? <laughs> Under the stairs? <laughs> right, open back for us, Jam. You take that lino off me, I can't do it one handed. Thank you. Is that all we're delivering today? Yeah. Oh, just one case. Oh well. Well, there we go. Let's go and drop them off. Just put this Stanley knife down and we'll get in the car and go and do the deliveries. First drop. There she goes, look. Mask on. Just, uh, see if we can spot her toddling off down the road. There we are. Find Darth Vader. <laughs> 